Today I'm going to give you a brief overview on how to put a BNC connector on a coax cable. Here's a factory made BNC cable. And here's a BNC connector that was made in the field. That's what we're going to talk about today. Today I'm using a two-piece BNC connector. I also like the three-piece BNC connectors. What I would highly recommend is that you never use a twist-on BNC connector. It won't be worth the headache. First thing you want to do is slide the sleeve over the top of your cable. You'll be sorry if you forget to do that. Next we're going to strip the cable back. Today I'm using one of these uh, coax cable cutters, but I usually just use a knife with a sharp edge. I just continue to pull the cable off. Usually the back cut just puts a slight score in it, so if you bend it a little you can score it the rest of the way and peel that section back. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to pull the copper braiding back over the outer jacket. Now what I'm going to do is cut the center insulator off to about a quarter inch and then I'm going to leave about three-eighths of an inch of my center conductor. Now we're going to slide the connector over the top of our center conductor and shimmy it into the hole a little bit. And then we're going to slide the outside copper braid over the outside of the connector. And finally we're going to push our sleeve up over the top of that braid. Once we have that seated all the way we're going to use our BNC crimpers and first crimp the top and then we're going to move down along the cable and crimp the bottom and that's it. We're done. Important note is if you don't have the correct crimpers consider using UTP. You're not going to get a good connection using a pair of pliers.